Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Tom Bartholomew with Bartholomew Media Group. And today we are going to be talking about social media business profiles and the different ones. We're going to go through Google My Business, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn. We're just going to cover those four and make sure that you know the difference between a personal and a business page and super easy how to get listed as a business in those social media platforms. We're not gonna optimize them today. We're gonna to make some videos later to optimize them. But today we're talking about how to create social media business profile pages. And here we go. All right, we're gonna create a Google My Business page. This is arguably one of the most important business pages you can have for your construction company. So I did a little search, Google My Business, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Create. And they don't wanna have duplicates, so they want you to type in your business. So I'm just gonna put in, oh, Tom Bartholomew Speaker. And nothing came up, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go add your business to Google. Here's the same, the, the Speaker Tom. And then you gotta find, so. I don't have public speaker, so let's go back to not a public. Let's just go. Let's do presenter. Hmm. Uh, we'll put entertainer. All right, because public speaking is kind of like entertainment. Do you want to add a location? So this is one of the biggest things. So if you have a local business where people come to you, they come to your store, you want to click on yes. If you have a business like I do, public speaking, then you do not want people to come to your location or as it is, your house like me. Right there it is, Bear Lake, Michigan. And you can add more areas depending on where you're going to be. So this, uh, I wonder if I can just put in USA. There we go, because we're I would speak anywhere in the country on construction marketing and service area. They ask a few different places. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit next. And you come on here. What do you want to show to your customers? So we're going to go. Oh, I'm not in Lake City anymore. I'm gonna do that. Current website. Let's speaker Tom. And you can you don't need to do that. So you can put in a website, you don't need a website, or you can get a free website. So a free website is what Google has, is their Google My Business. So it'll create that for you. But we're gonna go like this, the speaker Tom. We're gonna hit next and continue on. Looks like everything's good. All right. Tells you what you can, can't do, and it's gonna pull you up into your listing. Ah, okay, so let's do street address. You notice how it says it's hidden. That was because I said that I did not have a business where people came to. So you still have to put your address, but that's in the second part to, to get a, a postcard so you could verify your listing. All right, and we're gonna hit next. All right, and then you could do either a postcard by mail is the only way they are allowing me to do it. So let's go ahead and verify by mail. Oh, I didn't put in the contact name. I wonder if they're gonna ding me. Eh, it doesn't have a name on it, no big deal. So let's hit continue. So in about five days, you'll get a postcard. So here's where you put in your business hours. I'm just gonna skip that. Highly recommend you need to do that if you are a local business so people will know. You put in a little description here. Be very descriptive. This is what people are gonna see when they come onto your My Business page. When you, they search in Google and they find you and over to the side is your business page. This is the description it's gonna have. We're gonna skip that for this video. And here you wanna put in some photos. You wanna add photos of yourself, of your products, your services. We're going to skip that for right now, and we're almost ready. We can make updates at any time, just like they're telling you here. So you can do a lot of things. You want to make sure you fill out all of your info. 
You want to make sure you follow this. This is where you can get reviews. So if you have some customers, there's a link that you can send them reviews. Very simple. You want to make sure you implement the messaging. That's you put your, you got to start this, add lots of photos. You can add your products. You can add your services. So if I was going to do this, I would add services for speaking, one hour speaking engagements. This is the website that they give you. You want to optimize that because some people end up on it. And so that's really it for Google My Business page. You can see over here that it'll tell you I'm only 40% right now because I haven't put in hours, description, logos, any of that stuff. So you want to spend some time doing this, optimizing, going through each one of these and finding out and filling all the information in. And that will help you show up better in Google, especially the Google Local 3-Pack if you are a service-based, location-based business. This is mandatory. You have to have a Google My Business page. So I hope that helps with the Google My Business page. And you can tell a personal profile from a business profile because in a personal profiles, the photo is in the middle of your cover page. This is your cover. And this is your profile photo. So that's the difference. This is a personal page. So you can even see here it says that I am the CEO at a business. So it's got your work here, your work information, work history, about friends, photos, all that good stuff. And then your cover page and your photo. And your photo is in the middle, like I just said. So in order to create a business page, we come over here and we click on Create. We go on down here to Page. So this is going to create us a new Facebook business page. So we got to come over here. I'm going to call this one the Speaker Tom. We're going to go right through here. So entertainment. All right. You can add a description. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and create page. So real simple. Go to create, create a page. Here we are. Now we can go with, we can start editing it. We can share it, we can do all sorts of things. So this is our business profile, business page on Facebook. Super easy to create, super easy to make. You can view it on a mobile or a desktop. That is a new thing, new recently on Facebook, allows you to do that. And you can add picture profiles. You wanna add and fill in all of this information. You wanna create lots of posts to engage your users, but pretty simple. We didn't do that one, didn't take us even five minutes to create a Facebook business page. And you can see I already have a business here, but we are gonna go over here to work. And we are gonna go down to create a company page. So again, LinkedIn is just like Facebook. You have a, you have a personal page, which is this one, your personal page. And then you have, actually that's my desktop feed. And then you can create a company page. So let's click on that and go through the steps here for LinkedIn. It's very simple. It even a little bit more in depth, they ask you about your businesses. So I'm a very small business. And we're gonna go here to page identity. So it gives us, that's gonna be our pump company URL, public URL, linkedin.com slash company slash the speaker tom so this one asks about our website we could do that so we could go thespeakertom.com that is actually a website that i just made for a placeholder and they ask you your industry so we can go let's do that again let's go to entertainment and my company size is very small company type you're going to say sole proprietorship then you can add your logo, all sorts of stuff, verify that you are representative, and you can create your page. Super simple, just like the rest of them. Just takes a little bit of know-how on where to go. And then there you are. And again, it gives you a little how far you are to completing it. So it tells what you have to do, what you've done. You can see the little checklist there, industry. I need to add a description, a logo, location first posts, and some hashtags. So LinkedIn really helps you out. You can add a cover image, your logo over here. Really just super easy to get this going and 
not hard at all for a very important LinkedIn business page. If you are doing business to business, B2B services, even B2C in certain industries, it is very important that you have a LinkedIn business page. I use my personal page, obviously at all. I don't have any followers or following because I use my business page for Bartholomew Media Group. What I'm gonna do today, you can see that one's listed there, is I am going to add a free business account. So you have to be right here, you click on the little icon, little drop down menu, add a free business account. And here we go, it kind of tells you a little bit, it's gonna help you run ads, see analytics, and share more ideas on Pinterest. Let's get started. All right, same thing, kind of, they're all very similar. So we're gonna say the, the speaker Tom. Do you have a website? Yes, I do. Uh, speakertom.com United States I speak English let's keep going across what is the focus of your brand I like to educate people so we're just gonna throw that in here and here you go you can describe your brand it's very easy you're not sure about your brand are you a blogger contractor service provider a creator and influencer retail store online marketplace publisher media or other. I'm going to say that I am going to be an influencer or creator. And then it goes, where do you want to start? Super easy. We can just get rid of that. And let's look at our business page. There we are. So this is the Speaker Tom Business Hubs. Thank you for joining me today with how to create social media business pages. We ran through them all today. Not all of them, but four main ones. Google My Business, probably the most important. So you can show up in the your local three pack that shows up local searches with the map. And we did Facebook business page. We learned the difference between a personal page and a business page. We also did LinkedIn. It has the same thing, a personal and a business page. And then we did a quick Pinterest profile or business page on there to create a business hub. So thanks for watching me today. Again, my name is Tom Bartholomew with Bartholomew Media Group. You can find us online at BartholomewMediaGroup.com. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this page. Give it a thumbs up. Next Monday, I'll be coming out with why you should create a website and things you should know about creating a website. So stay tuned next Monday. And again, thanks for watching today. See you next week.